<laughs> Praise the Lord. Brother Hype Man here, a.k.a. Brother Juno, formerly known as a wretched knock clan, my brothers and sisters. If we turn our Bibles to Jeremiah chapter 31, we'll be looking at verse 3, and it reads, The Lord hath appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. And my brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord. Say, praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I remember when I was part of this call called the Church of Christ, and I remember one particular individual going before the people, started yelling and screaming about how God is not pleased with the world. God is angry with the world because they keep on sinning. Now God is loving. God is merciful. But there comes a point when or if we just keep on sinning that, that, that God is going to withdraw his love from the world. You just cannot keep on sinning. Now God will give you a chance, but you can't just keep on continuing to sin and think God will love you. And so I decided to entitle this message and I want to title it The God of Second Chance. In, Jared chap in Jeremiah chapter 31, we see the, um, the Old Testament gospel grace preacher Old Testament gospel of grace believer, Old Testament gospel of grace teacher, and Old Testament gospel of grace prophet, uh, Jeremiah, mentioning about that, how the Lord, the capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, the covenant keeping God, the keeping his covenant with his people because he loves his people, because the agape loves his people. He says that, that, that he's going to love his people with an everlasting love and that everlasting that eternal that unceasing uh, that continual love is, is, is the agape love and with loving kindness he's going to draw his people to him the, 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 the uh, jehovah god the capital l capital o capital r capital d the coming keeping god who's keeping his coming with his people because he loves them. He's going to draw them with, with loving kindness. And that loving kindness is God's grace. Now, you see, uh, 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 when it comes to that love, that agape love, that the uh, Old Testament gospel grace preacher, uh, uh, Jeremiah, was, was preaching about, this, this, is, uh, uh, this, uh, this love, this agape love is unconditional. You can't work for it. You can't deserve it. You can't earn it. It ain't conditional. It's, it's not a love that's, that uh, he, he loves you now, and, and, and then, uh, you, you know, uh, when things don't go right or whatever, that, you, you know, you're going to uh, uh, start to lose that love, and, and you're going to pick up some kind of uh, exorbitant entrance that you're going to have to make up for the love that he first gave you, and, 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 then, and, then, and then what's going to happen next is uh, the, the more the time that uh, uh, that exorbitant interest builds up and, and, and you got to try to make up that love that, that was conditional and, and not unconditional, you, you, you're going to go in, in a downward vicious cycle. And, and, and that's, that's, not, that's, not, that's not God's love. God's love is unconditional. You can't, again, you can't work for it. You can't earn it. You can't deserve it. God doesn't love uh, uh, the world because the world is good. God loves the world because he's good. God don't love the world be be because the world is good. God loves the world because his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is good. And, and that finished work that he did on the cross was good. And that's the reason why God loves the world. You know, we see in 1 Peter chapter 5, 
uh, the Apostle Peter, a gospel grace believer, a gospel grace teacher, a gospel grace preacher, uh, where he mentioned in, in his letter, 1 Peter chapter 5, and he closed, pretty much closed it off by saying this about God. He says th that the God of all grace, the God of all forgiveness of all your sins, past, present, and future, the God of eternal life, the God of... Of, 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 of life and life more abundantly, all of it, is that the God of all grace, the God of all grace has, has called you unto the eternal glory through his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And he suffered a little, and that suffered a little that the Apostle Peter, a gospel grace preacher, is talking about is what he, that suffering that he did on the cross. When he took all of our sins, when he took all our iniquities, when he took all our transgressions. And, 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 and he gave us uh, uh, all his goodness, all his, all, all his love, all his mercy, every perfect uh, things of heaven he gave to us. And the Apostle Peter continues and says, uh, uh, he suffered a while, but watch this, but he has made us perfect. He has made us established, he has strengthened us, and he has settled us in Christ Jesus. And that's the love. That love is unconditional. There ain't no condition in God's love. When you receive it, it strengthens you. It establishes you. It, 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 it perfects you. And you're settled in. The, uh, uh, and, and that love and especially a finished work what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ did on the cross so uh, 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 it ain't no uh, uh, second chance uh, 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 it ain't no, uh, 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 because he's a God of all grace and he's a God of all agape love and he's a God of all eternal life and he's a God that, that forgives you of all your sins past, present and future and when you receive that agape love, <laughs> when you receive that agape love, after you believe it, God is glorified. Praise the Lord. You are edified. Praise the Lord. And most importantly of all, the kingdom of darkness is nullified. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your agape love. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord face out to find you. May the Lord lift up his God to you. May the Lord give you speed. And I command you all to God and the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in an earth to those who are sanctified. In the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, say amen. And out to him that is able to keep you from all and present you for it's in the presence of his glory. Both glory, mercy, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to he belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me, loves me. Yes, Jesus Agape loves us because the word of God says so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, the traffic. I don't got no traffic. God bless. Agape love. No traffic. <laughs>